Kelly Mary here at videoblogmarketing.com. You might wonder how to find traffic for your idea on the internet. Whether you're blogging about something or you're trying to put keywords into your website or maybe you're trying to pick a brand new website name that maybe has some traffic to it, uh, you might be wondering how to find traffic on the internet. And I have a great couple of great ideas for you about picking a website name and also about getting some traffic to your website. Um, it's all free and we can get started right now. Okay, so here I am going into Google and I'm gonna put Google Keywords Tool. And I'll click on that. And it usually gives me a gray screen. Yeah, there it is. And uh, today we're just gonna pretend that you're a dog groomer. That's one of the internet geeks favorites. So dog groomer, and we're gonna search on that. Now what this is, is competition for AdWords. Now we're not necessarily going for AdWords here. We're just trying to see how many people are searching. And we're also trying to see what our competition is for hitting the number one spot on this search term. Usually when the competition's really, really low, it's probably pretty easy to get there with natural search where you're not even paying for an ad. Um, but uh, if the competition's high, it might be a little bit more competitive to get to the first page. So you kind of look for a low bar here and higher numbers here. This is a huge amount of numbers right here. Global monthly searches means worldwide and local monthly searches means in the United States, which is where I am right now. So it basically means in your country, uh, not necessarily in your town. So as I scroll down through here, I kind of take a look for a lower competition and a decent amount of numbers. You don't need lots and lots of numbers. You just need the right people searching for what really, really is the right keyword for what you're uh, selling or what, what your business is. Another way that you can tell if you're going to have a really good uh, result is by clicking on the actual keyword and taking a look at the home page of Google. This pinkish area is a pay-per-click ad and everything down the side is also a pay-per-click ad. So the very top natural organic search result is this one right here. And they have petgroomer.com and also the word dog grooming is in their description. So if they, on their actual page, it probably shows up as in the title of, of the document and it also has dog groomer in the text. So that's how you know if, uh, how the competition is stiff. You need to have the same things in your document, on in your title and in your description. And also if you can have it in your website address, that's good too. So let's look for a second now about how you would pick a website name that went with one of these keywords. Okay, so I'm back here at the Google AdWords tool and what I really like to do is open up GoDaddy and look for names on another um, tab at the top. So I'm gonna go to GoDaddy. So on one tab, I've got GoDaddy, and on the other tab, I've got the Google AdWords tool. So what I might do is scroll down and find something with a low competition that has a few people looking for it. Let's just pick this one. Dog grooming service, kind of low, and it's got 480 people in the US. Okay, so we're over here at GoDaddy and we put dog grooming service, oops, dot com. And let's just go to that and see what we get. And dog grooming service dot com is already taken, but you might actually go for dog grooming service info dot info, or if you have a lot of video, it might be dot TV, or if it's just a, an informational site, you might put dot org. So that's one way to find out if anybody cares about what you want to talk about. Sometimes I go into the Google AdWords tool and I find nobody searching on what I think is very interesting. <laughs> so if you want up-to-date information about the internet and how to find traffic, how to build WordPress websites, how to shoot your own videos, uh, video production, website design, website development, internet marketing, search engine optimization. Uh, we have a blog and we put out, every time anyone asks us a good question, we put out a new blog post with an answer. <laughs> so if you want to be on our blog, we'd love to have you. If you don't know what an RSS feed is, we've got video about that too. But you can just get our blogs by email every time they come out by popping your email in. And if you want us to build you a WordPress website, help you put, do video production and search engine optimization, we'd love to help you with that too. And our number is 
415-690-7112. And that's Mary at videoblogmarketing.com. See you there.